Hello everyone, how are we doing in this blessed season? Amen, it's a blessed season for us, it's a blessed season and that's what it is, hallelujah, that's what it is, it's a blessed season because God's word has said, he will never leave us nor forsake us, amen, you know, some people feel that, you know, we believers, we're not taking this seriously, you know, they are not accurate about it, the truth is we're taking it seriously, just that the posture we're taking it serious, you know, is not the normal posture of taking it serious, we're taking God's word seriously, you know, we're taking what God has said to us in times like this seriously, we're taking you know prayer seriously the bible says the prayer of the righteous are really much we're taking you know intercession seriously amen glory to god i want to share something with us about this precaution uh, measures yes we're also taking precautions seriously but the thing about precaution you know measures is that if what you're doing you know your precaution measures what is pushing you to take those measures is fear and even what's pushing you to take god's words seriously and even praise fear it's not going to work guys it's not going to work you know um if you look at jesus when he was tempted i was just thinking about this and then the Holy Spirit reminded me of you know the temptation of jesus in matthew 4 you know when jesus was being tempted by the devil notice that the bible said he was hungry and then the devil said you should turn stones to bread jesus responded with god's word jesus didn't turn stones to bread because the enemy was the one telling him to turn stones to bread you know and notice that it's not like jesus didn't want to eat he wanted to eat he wanted to take precautionary measures but he wasn't going to allow the minister of fear be the one to detect him turning stone to bread notice after that encounter you know that dealing you know responding to the devil with god's word the, the bible says that the angels you know came and ministered to him jesus ate jesus took precaution measures you know, let's put it in that sense but it wasn't you know doing it because of fear now you see people saying they're rubbing our sanitizer somebody's hands getting blown on on the gas because sanitizer alcohol is in our food in our hands people rubbing it on their body people you know taking chloroquine getting overdose all of these things it's wrong let's not allow fear be the reason we're doing what we're doing and some people are saying that they are praying they will pray they'll pray but inside their mind fear is what is there and then the bible tells us that you know a double-minded man let him not think he's going to receive anything from god you are praying and then you're like hey anything can happen no it's not going to work like that hallelujah the strongest weapon the enemy has and he knows it is fear once he can inject fear into the believer once he can inject fear into us <laughs> he knows he has gotten us amen but god's not going to let that happen because the bible tells us that fear has torment fear on its own is 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 worse off is worse off so in this period in this season more than ever before this is a time to feed your heart with god's word and put god's word in your mouth and release it and speak it over you know funny thoughts i know this is what the enemy is doing right now because of all the news what is its main agenda you know is to keep let the news be going people are reading it from one to one you know if i, I don't even know when um, browsing apps started popping news that's everywhere popping news popping news and then you are just feeding on them feeding on them and you're going about your day an image of hmm, what if somebody close to you now just you know go what if it even happens to you right now? Those images, see, once those images come, and then you go, mm, and then you're doing, mm -hmm. and then for some people, they go and put on their status. Let's be careful, low. Hey, they, and people read it, they don't know that what is even sponsoring that person's post is what the enemy has shown that person in their mind. Please, 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 when thoughts like that come, that is when you should speak and scream at the devil with God's word. Amen. That's what I've been doing. And I encourage us to do the same. You know, I, the devil doesn't bring such thoughts to me all the time. But the moment I sense an idea, because it usually comes when somebody just says something. You know, someone around me just says something. And then the enemy now uses that to bring a thought. I challenge it because if I let it dwell, it becomes a seed that is sown. And before you know it, Guys, let's know how this game works. It's a game of the mind. The enemy is playing. Let's not forget that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. For people who think that we're not taking this seriously, I don't understand. Do you want us to begin to, you know, take God's word on serious? Like, should we not? They'll say, let's be real. What else is more real than the word of God? Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is where we stand. And we're taking God's word seriously. Yes, we're taking the precautions seriously. I mean, personal hygiene... Has it not been something that you should be doing before? You should be washing your hands before you should be, you know, you know, all of these things that but is not becoming all blown in proportion and all of that. It's just fear, guys. Honestly. So this is the time. Get you um Bashon Bible. 
harp, you know, play the or if you know you are you are not used to the word, play the say play Psalm 91. Let it be plain, be declaring it. You may be a novice to these things. You can start from there. And for those of you who are not born again, this is the time to just you know receive Jesus into your life and just say, God, I need you.